Hello there, welcome back to some more Hollow Knight. In the last episode, we found the City of Tears and explored, explored around. We got, we sold a bunch of our money and we got a nail upgrade. Lots of things happened. Um, now, though, we've got a big black mask on the map, which is probably the game telling me, go here, please. So, I'm going to go there, please. Then, I'm going to explore the rest of this little zone in areas I can go to now. So, for example, on my way, I might as well have a look while I'm on my way. a bit dark, but yeah, I think I can open this, but I can't right now because it's dark. Once I can actually see what I'm looking at, it probably will let me do it. There's going to be a few zones like that where it's just too dark to see anything. But there'll also be zones that I couldn't go to because I didn't have a dash or I didn't have an air, like a wall jump. So we should at least have a look and see if any of those places are now accessible for me. Like this, I think I could. I just couldn't jump up the wall. Oh no, I could. I just decided not to go this way. Oh no, maybe I did, and it went to a different zone. And then, yeah, in here, there's this that I couldn't do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's all coming back to me now. Let's go up to the black mask then. Rock on me. No, they're only worth like three, but it's still worth killing them. Hello there. This is the Temple of the Black Egg, but. Why do you want me to go here? Maybe I need an item from the City of Tears first to then go and have a look at it. That's fine. Right, let's have a look. We can get some money from all those worms we saved, so we might as well go have a look at that. Then we'll head back to town, because they asked me to return back to town. Grub song. And a map piece. Or a heart piece. A mask piece, if you will. Right. Okay, let's go back to Dirtmouth and see what we can do there. I wonder if you can get armor, like Zelda, where like things that do half damage now only do no damage, or things that do one damage do half, or things that do two do one. There's one of these trees. I don't know what they mean. It's two I've found now, I believe. Probably some future thing I need to know where they all are, but I won't remember. And that's going to be sad for me. Hello. Now, oh, pale thing, you wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below, one built for our like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon. Come and find me if you dare. Ah. Oh. <sighs> All the places to end up. You've picked this dreary town. I thought it would be a temporary stop. Then my husband became obsessed with that old ruin. Now he's spending all his time down there. He argues cartography is a sound business, but other than you, who's buying? Ah, <sighs> bar for nada.
Let me find out where all the trams are. Let me find out where the stags are. Thank you. Oh, what a turn. Our shop keeps coming home. Just wandered back in. I hope for grand tales of his time below. He seems to remember almost nothing. Maybe it is all too much for him. If you're interested in his wares, watch out. He drives a hard bargain, that one. No competition, that's the problem. It's bad for the market. Not that he's complaining. Now, hello. Hello. I thought we'd meet again. How do you like my cozy little store? I've made myself pretty comfortable here, selling old trinkets to travellers like yourself. If you're pulling your chip below, I've several items that may improve your chance of survival. <laughs> Rancid egg. Need 1800 for a lantern. Okay. That's what I've got to save up for then. That'll make my life much better if I have a lantern. I can explore the darkness. That makes me think that anything darkness related is only um, optional and not necessary. But I'll still do it. Or maybe it just makes it much more doable. Like, you can explore the dark zones, but it's just a really big pain in the ass if you try and do it without the lantern. But 1800. Now, this place I went to, but underneath is where I want to go. I didn't mean it. I did a bad mistake. Okay, cool. Yeah, this zone. This might lead to a different place, but I couldn't go there for whatever reason. Because I couldn't wall jump, that's why. Now we can see what was beyond. The game's telling me to look down. Help me spot where the safety is. So much to explore, so little time. Having half the stag stations already does tell me that, you know. Unless the game has like a massive second half, I what am I doing? Unless the game has a massive second half I don't know about. Uh it shouldn't take me that long. The hard part is just gonna be figuring out where to go at any one time. Also, I haven't fought a boss monster in a while. Oh. Okay. Can I hit those purple things, do you think? No, I can't. I wonder what I'm supposed to do about that then. I must be able to shield or something. plan is just to only when it does this only go over it instead yeah I don't know how to dodge that otherwise yeah like that okay I have understandment
more piece to go. Okay. And this just leads back here. Alright. So next thing is to go up to there and see what's there. To the right hand side, I mean. I learned my lesson. So to dodge that, you jump across. After a wall jump, you just go across the way. Yes, there's a, something stopping me from getting... Ah, yes. I don't think I can do it even now. Yeah, because bouncing on the thing kills you. And one dash isn't going to be enough. So I, I need like a shine spark to get me across. The game lagged a bit when this guy spawned. Not that that's why I got hit, because I was have got hit anyway, but it didn't help. Uh, right, so rightwards is no good. Leftwards might be good, so I should check that. Of course, I can uh, fast travel if I want to, but right now I don't need to. I want to see what's over to the left. I think it's a lift that I couldn't get in. Yeah. So I need to get up to there from the City of Tears. I can get up here. And if I can get up here, then it probably unlocks the lift. Understood. Right, then the next thing to do is to take this tram and see where it goes. could go anywhere. Already got quite a few charms. Missing a few, of course, but... Yeah, I could buy another patch, like, thing now, but I want to save up for the lantern, so I need to just get money until I get the lantern. Because it's an item that should be passive, hopefully. I wouldn't like it if it's a badge I have to equip, but I will equip it if I need to. The only problem with that is you've got to do it at benches, so you've got to know that you're going to go towards the uh, darkness. Insert the tramp.
Hello? That was not the right answer. Follow the butterfly. I have no other choice. I'm interested in why these weird random like random ones that don't need to be here are there. You said, what a terrible fate they visited upon you. To cast you away into this space between body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sod f Sod? What? This sad forgotten realm. Or dream. I, I kind of misread it. I will cut. Taking the dream nail. Hold Y to charge and slash with a nail. Cut through the veil between dreams and waking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hello? Good ah, you've returned. Welcome back to the waking world. Those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with that little power they still have and dragged you into that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dream. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit that sacred blade is dulled over time, though perhaps together we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence, the precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you find it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go out into the world, wielder, hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect a hundred essence and return to me. I will teach you more. The resting grounds. Okay, this is what these are for. I've got to get a hundred. Each one gives about ten or more, and it shouldn't take too long. another little wrinkle, isn't it? So, again, do I remember where those trees were that I already found? No. Okay, it's not going to make me appear again. City of Tears.
Maybe I'm seeing his thoughts. I'm not sure this is how you're supposed to fight these guys. But if it is, it's not exactly riveting. Not that that really matters, but... Right, now we can go down the lift and go the other way. Because I could have gone left to do this lift too. Oh no, I couldn't. Only the right door. Well, the left door opens, but doesn't open to anything, so... I have to have a look at where else we can go, then. Stay back! I can see people's thoughts with this shit. It's kind of fucked up. Is it not? This seems like a perfectly reasonable place. Oh, damn you. I wanted to heal, but I couldn't find a good place to do it. Okay. I've got some time to heal, now I can actually focus on what I'm doing. vessel fragment. So that's to make my ability to heal go up more. Like the amount of charges I can have, I think. I might be chatting shag, but I think that's what it does. Alright. Now we hit 30 minute mark. Now I've got to find a bench to rest at that's closer. No one wants to be uh, doing this forever. Owie. Stop it. Stop it. I've nearly got a thousand already, so it's not bad. I need to get to 1800, then I'll go straight back to Dartmouth, get a lantern, and then forget all about it. Because then I can explore all the things. This, has, this place has a uh, rest stop. Wonderful news. Okay. I'll see you guys next time. When we try and explore this place a bit more and see what we can find. Hopefully a map. See you then. Goodbye.